Hey Crush, here's your Monday workout. I'm gonna do a little demo here. Um, a lot of these videos this week, I'm gonna talk about the first part of the workout, or the first part of the video. I'm gonna talk about some of the stuff we sell and what the benefits of are and why we sell it. Um, especially for those that are new to Crush, um, to kind of give them some info as to you know what the fit aids are, what the protein and the difference between whey and casein protein. Um, but anyway, for today's workout, we have a um, 10 minute EMOM with strength stuff to start. 10 minutes, the one interval, you're gonna do 10 push-ups. The ne <clears throat> next interval, you're gonna do 20 banded seated rows, seated banded rows. You're gonna sit with your feet up against the rig, like so. Put the band around the rig, and then just pull and row. 20 of those. Pick your, whatever tension you want for the band, pick that, um, whatever you want. Maybe guys go green or green or purple. Girls go in black or purple. And so one minute, 10 push-ups. Next minute, 20 seated banded rows for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna have a, uh, a Metcon of 20-minute uh, AMRAP. <coughs> Sorry, something's in my throat. 20-minute AMRAP of 20 calories on the rower, 30 box jumps, 20 burpees, 30 uh, front squats, 95-65, 30 calories on the bike, 20 shoulder overhead, 95-65. So 30 calorie row, 20 box jumps, 30, or I'm sorry, 20 calorie row, 30 box jumps, 20 burpees, 30 front squats, 20 uh, shoulder overhead, or calorie bike, 30 shoulder overhead. So one thing I want to talk about too for those that are new to CrossFit or new to, new to rowing is the damper setting. Today we are rowing for calories. Some people immediately think that what they should do when they row for calories is crank this thing all the way up to 10. And since it's going to be harder to row, harder to pull, you're gonna accumulate calories faster. That is not the case. That damper setting has nothing to do with, with what goes on in the monitor. So the higher you set this, it just makes it harder to pull for calories or pull for anything. The way I, all this does, for those that don't know, is it just controls the air intake into the fan here. The higher this up, the less or the more air that gets in there, therefore the fan has to work harder to work. The lower, the less air gets in there, Therefore, it doesn't have to work as hard. So, the way I equate this is if you were to go run a mile on concrete, would be here. And if I actually run a mile on the sand, it'd be like doing there. In both cases, <clears throat> you're gonna run a mile, but obviously rolling, running in the sand is much harder than running in concrete. So that's like what that is. You're still gonna go the same distance, it's just gonna <clears throat> It's just gonna be much harder to get there. To that same degree, so some people might think, well, why not just go all the way down to zero then, or all the way down to one? Well, now you have no resistance, and this is like riding your bike downhill in the smallest gear, where you're just pedaling, 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 and not doing anything. So most women will have it on four, four or five, kind of depending on your height, because rowing is a tall person's game. Or um, guys might have it on five, six, maybe seven, much harder than that, you're just going to end up working a lot harder on the rower and not have as much energy when you get to the other stuff than if you rowed at a, a more medium setting. So, just quick educational on the rower for those that are new to CrossFit and maybe for some of you that are new to CrossFit for a while and still crank this thing way up high for really no reason whatsoever. So, uh, strength stuff today, push-ups, banded rows, then some rowing. Some burpees, some calorie on the bike, mixed in with some box jumps, some front squats, and some shoulder overhead. Makes for a good eventful Monday. Have a good Monday.